Combining vectors at right angles is possible. Consider this. We have two vectors, one vertical, one horizontal. They're pushing on the same object at the same time. Where is the object going to go? What direction is the force that that object is going to experience? Well, it's going to be somewhere in between. Like that. This is the resultant force. We might want to know the size and the angle of that resultant force. So how do we work it out? The resultant formed goes across the diagonal of a rectangle that had these two vectors as sides. So like this. We can yet then use the sizes of the vectors and Pythagoras to work out the length of that vector. Four newtons, three newtons. So by Pythagoras, we have this one, which we don't know. And we can see that the length is going to be 5. If you want to work out the angle, it becomes a little more complicated. To work out the angle the resultant vector makes with the horizontal, we need to use Sokotoa. I can see that the 3 newtons will be opposite the angle, and the 4 newtons will be adjacent. Opposite and adjacent, we need to use tan. So tan alpha equals opposite over adjacent. Calculating the inverse tan for that, alpha equals inverse tan of 0.75, which when I put it into my calculator equals 37 degrees.